Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Tarot by Melissa and today's reading is going to be looking into what upcoming surprises and changes are in store for you. This is a timeless video so the messages can resonate whenever you feel guided or drawn to view it. What I'm going to be looking into is pretty much exactly what the title says. We're going to see what upcoming exciting changes or surprises are on the horizon for you. We are going to be doing tarot and oracle cards today and I'm really excited because today we're we're actually going to also incorporate some charms into the reading. This is something new and different for my channel. Uh, definitely channeling Miss Charmed Intuition Tarot if you guys have ever watched her. Uh, but I got a new charm kit, so I thought it would be fun to play with this a little bit in our reading. So let's go ahead and get into some disclaimers. First and foremost, this is a general reading, so keep in mind that some messages may resonate specifically with you, other messages might not. If it doesn't apply, if it doesn't feel like it's fitting your situation, just release it and let it go. It was likely a message for someone else. If you did want to book a personal reading, all the details on how you can do that will be linked in the description box down below. Personal readings are always a great way to get a more specific read on your own personal situation. All right, so let's go ahead and get into our pile selection. Uh, for pile one, we have some green moonstone. Pile two, we have some peach moonstone. And pile three, we have some honey calcite. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath. Think about what upcoming changes and surprises are in store for you. Go ahead and select the card or crystal you feel the most intuitively connected to. And once you've made that choice, scroll down to the description box to locate the timestamp that will take you to your pile selection. See you there. Hey, Pile One, if you guys picked out the green moonstone, this is going to be your reading. We're looking into what upcoming surprises and changes are headed your way. We are also going to be working with tarot oracle and charms today, so stay tuned till the end because I am going to be working with this new charm kit that I got just to get a little more info into what's happening with you. But we're going to start off with some tarot and oracle. So starting us off here, you guys have the six of coins, the tower, oh my goodness and the Three of Cups with the Full Moon Eclipse card coming up. Wow. <clears throat> okay, so what changes and surprises are in store? We're gonna be adding more cards here in a moment, but wow, you guys. Um, I wanna start here with the Full Moon Eclipse card. So full moons, as I'm sure some of you know, are all about conclusions, right? Closing out a chapter, closing out a cycle, something coming to its peak point or coming to an end. And we want to think of a full moon eclipse as like that same energy, but really revved up, like full moon on steroids, okay? I'm definitely seeing, especially with this tower being here, there is a massive redirection coming through in your life, okay? The full moon eclipse um, can sometimes talk about like a door literally like being slammed shut, right? Something is being... Something is going to be like, no, this is not the right path for you. And I do feel like it's going to become incredibly obvious that it's not the right path for you. And it can be tough energy. And I'm going to get into what I'm seeing here with the situation. But I feel like with the situation, it's going to be really important for you guys to kind of focus on like releasing and letting go of the need to control. Okay. Um, because this door is closing for a reason. It's closing to redirect you onto the right path, no matter how tough or challenging it might feel. What I kind of feel is happening for you guys is with this tower here, with the Three of Cups and the Six of Coins, I feel like the conclusion in your life that's upcoming may have to actually do with your friendships, like friends in your life, a friend group, one specific friend in particular here because I, I keep being drawn to this three of cups. I feel like there's something about like your current friendships or current a current friend in particular that maybe you guys have been feeling for a little while is a little bit off. With the six of coins here, this is oftentimes speaking of a reciprocal connections, an equal exchange of give and take an equal exchange of money, resources, effort, energy, etc. 
right? So I feel like there's been something on your mind with regard to a specific friendship or someone in your life and really asking yourself like, okay, am I getting what I'm putting into the situation? Is this connection really reciprocal? And with the tower coming up here, I feel like the big surprise that's coming for you, coming in for you all is that no, <laughs> something is completely off balance with this situation. Um, I do think though, for a lot of you guys, that the beauty of this tower moment, this realization that you may be having about a specific friend or person in your life, situation, whatever, is that again, like I said, it's redirecting you. So it's gonna be really important that you don't resist the change of the tower, right? The tower can come in the form of just, you know, crazy events that we didn't expect. So maybe something is going to happen that's really shocking with this situation. But for others of you, it may just be like a shocking realization where you're kind of looking at the situation in a way that you've never looked at it before because something is gonna happen here that makes you look at this and be like, oh, now I actually see the reality of what this situation was, right? So even though you might be losing someone out of your life or letting go of a specific situation here, you are being redirected to the right group, ultimately, the right type of people who are going to be there to support you. Um, so this is interesting. Let's continue. <laughs> so we're going to add some more cards here for pile number one. What are the upcoming changes and surprises coming through for pile one? Excuse me, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm a little congested this morning. Okay. Upcoming changes and surprises in store for pile one. Clarifying energy. Ooh. Okay. That's way far too many. We have energy. A light inside my fire divine energy fill me, make me shine. So, you know, anytime we're going through a, a tower moment or something that's very like jarring to our reality, it can feel very depleting. And I think the full moon eclipse, it also just talks about a really heightened time of emotion and maybe even stress around the situation, right? So I do feel that like you all are being guided to make sure that you're protecting your energy as best as you possibly can. Maybe you need to set boundaries, you know, maybe you need to retreat. You need to put practices in place that are not going to allow the situation to dim you of your shine. Sorry, I keep hitting my camera thing. Let's see. We also have trust. I am safe. I am secure. In love, I trust. My faith and yours. So I do think that your faith it may be tested a little bit as you guys move through this change. But look, we have new beginnings. Let my let this magic in my spell clear the space in which I dwell. That's exactly why this tower moment is coming through. It's because there's something in your life around friendships or situations here that needs to be cleared out. And that's why this door is slamming shut for you. So even though it might feel draining, even though it could potentially feel stressful, I think it's going to be really important to just kind of release the need to control and just trust. Okay, like this is happening for a reason. This door is closing because there's something new and better out there for me that's going to provide more stability, more security, more safety, right? More trusting friendships, more trusting people in your life that are actually there to support you. Okay, so we're going to pull some of these coffee cup oracles next. Let's continue. So what else for pile number one? What are the upcoming changes and surprises in store for them? I'm just going to pull like three of these. We have the dove, peace and serenity. Beautiful. And that's the thing, you guys. Like, if someone is in your life and they're disturbing your peace, like that's a huge red flag, right? That like they're not really supposed to be, they're, they're out of alignment with you. We have, ooh, we have, let's see, this is the witch, magic curse. Oh my goodness. I wonder for some of you if this has like a, yeah, like I feel like there is a more spiritual lesson behind this. Like, especially when I see curse, I think of like generational curses or karmic patterns being broken by this door being closed. You realizing that you have your own magic 
right? You have your own power and energy to create peace in your life and remove any of these disruptive situations that are that are, you know, disturbing you. That are that are causing friction. Let's see. We have the peacock. This says pregnancy and wealth. Interesting. We also have success and pride here. There could be something here around money for some of you guys as well. We're like you're getting a lot of attention or accolades. You're getting a lot of recognition, perhaps. And I wonder if this is going to show a different side to some of the other people in your life that maybe are fake. You know, like they're not really supporting you in the way that you authentically deserve. Okay. Um. Peacocks, you know, it says wealth, but, you know, abundance as well. When I think of peacocks, I think of abundance. So it's like closing the door is allowing you to move into more abundance in your relationships, your friendships, whatever the situation is for you. Okay. I keep hitting my little stand here. Okay. We're going to do one more card, and then we're going to move into the charms. Okay. Okay. All right, look at this, you guys. You won the lottery. Make room for wonderment. I wonder if some of you are literally like winning the lottery. That would make sense with the six of coins here and the tower. Like that could be a shocking surprise. But on a more like metaphorical level, you've won the lottery. Make room for wonderment. I think mindset is going to be really important with this situation. Because again, like look, time for a quantum leap. Prepare for a makeover. This situation, these people, whatever it is, like they are being removed from your life so that you can be able to realign yourself onto the or redirect yourself onto the correct path. And I think going back to what I was starting to say about mindset, it's going to be really important, I think, for you guys to, um, no matter how challenging it is to let the situation go, you want to think about like the door is not opening anymore for a reason. It's because it's actually a blessing in disguise is sort of what that card is talking about, making the room for wonderment. So now it's like it's about instead of focusing on what we've lost, we get to focus now on what we can create that's new and different and better. So I want to clear these cards off screen really quick and then we're going to move into your charms. So I'll be right back. Okay, pile one. So we are back. We're going to do your charms. We have this little chart. This is from Mystic Moon Oracles. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull a few charms and just plop them on there. And we're going to see what other messages come through about these upcoming potential changes in your life. Okay, we're not going to take this one because it didn't land anywhere in particular. But let's see what we got. I feel like this one wants to be here. All right. And we have this one right here. And forgive me because I'm still learning all the meanings to the charms. But for your career, we have this little butterfly come up. So let's take a look and see. Butterflies typically talk about change and transformation. So let's see. Yeah, this one is saying development here. So you guys, this upcoming change could also have a tie to career for some of you guys. Um, I was reading it more of like friends, but I could definitely see where career could be tied into this with the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Could be like a career group of people. Um, but I love that this it's framing it as career development. So whatever change or transformation that you're moving through is actually somehow connected to up-leveling in your career, which is really, really exciting. Um, you guys also have the playing cards that are popping up on the health section, which talks about fate and destiny. So, you know, with health, this is really up to your interpretation. I don't really like to do health readings on this channel, but this could be talking about anything to do with your physical, mental health, even your spiritual health. You know, we do have a spirituality section here, but I think it's a general reading. Different messages can apply. Um, so there's something here with this situation that is like faded or destined. Something I feel that's meant to really help you to improve in your physical and mental health as you move through the changes. And you guys also have this key here under the challenges section. Keys typically talk about like unlocking something, you know. And so I think this is really beautiful because 
this challenge of letting go of whatever the situation is, is going to be allowing you guys learnings, a heightened level of spiritual enlightenment, development in certain areas of your life. And it is definitely something that's faded. So super exciting for you guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and close your reading here, but I would love to hear from you guys in the comments, like what aspects of the cards do you feel really resonated with your situation? So drop me a comment down below and let me know. If you're not already, please do subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you will be updated when I upload the next reading and I look forward to seeing you there. Bye. Hey, Pile 2, if you guys picked out the Peach Moonstone, so beautiful. This is going to be your reading, and we're looking into what upcoming changes or surprises are coming in for you. So I'm going to begin your reading with Tarot and Oracle. We're going to shuffle a few different decks on camera, and then we're also going to close out your reading with some charms. I thought this would be really fun to add in, so make sure you all are staying tuned till the end for that. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Actually, we're going to do this way. So... Starting us off, we have the star, we have the strength card, Ooh, and we have the four of cups with the new moon. Okay, beautiful. So with the star card coming up first, I feel like something that's new and different coming up for you guys is... I feel that there's been a situation or something on your mind that you've been feeling really inspired to do. Something you've been really hopeful about, something maybe you've been manifesting. It's sort of the star card is giving me like hopes and dreams energy right here. And I feel like this new moon being connected into this is talking about there's you're about to get a yes to something that you've been wanting. You're about to get a new fresh start with regard to whatever you've been inspired to do, with regard to whatever your hopes and dreams are, with regard to the situation. And with the star card, it's a beautiful energy, but sometimes it's an energy where we're kind of like more um, hopeful and like daydreamy and thinking about like how idealistic the situation would be, but it's not always aligned with action. And what I'm seeing here with the strength card is that I feel that you all are going to be able to maybe start taking some courageous, inspired action toward whatever it is that you are wanting to do here. Um, the strength card is really interesting because it talks about needing to be courageous, right? It talks about needing to muster up courage, strength, stamina to be able to do something. You can see here she's like flexing her little muscle. We've got this fierce lion. So something about this is really going to propel you or push you to be more confident and kind of put yourself out there and flex your muscles, quote unquote, show your skills a little bit more. And maybe for some of you, this new star is, is giving you the opportunity to strengthen some muscles that, metaphorical muscles that you didn't realize you needed to strengthen in order to get to where you want to be. Okay. So definitely seeing you step out into more courageous energy here. And for some of you, I actually think that there, this could be indicative of you being more in the spotlight too with the star because literally the star is like the star it's like the spotlight you know um eyes on you public eye things like that and maybe learning how to navigate having more eyes on you more courage to navigate those situations um we also have a four of cups here so something else that is coming up with these surprises and changes is i think that you guys are going to actually be gifted with an opportunity here that you may miss if you're not paying attention. Um, the Four of Cups, you see how she's daydreaming here too, right? She's like daydreaming. There's clouds around her. She's She's got her little cups crowded in front of her that she, she feels cool about them. But they're there. She's comfortable with them. But there's this other cup coming in and she's not even seeing it. This is a card where when you are like wanting something to be a specific way, if something is presented to you that doesn't look that way, then you're not noticing it, right? You're out of alignment with the opportunity that's coming through. So I think it's going to be really important for this group to also make sure that you have an open mind about different types of opportunities that are presented to you. Now, this energy is really general. So this could be related to like love, career, creative projects, whatever resonates most for you. Um, with Four of Cups especially, like, I feel like I see this in love readings a lot where it's like, if it's sort of like if someone doesn't look like your type, 
that you've idealized in your head, <laughs> you're not noticing it as an opportunity that it could be, you know? That's just an example, though. So let's continue. Let's get a little bit more clarification here. What is the next surprise coming in for pile two? Next surprise and change coming in for pile two. We have wisdom. On a Wednesday with a waxing moon, let wisdom come and be renewed. Okay. Beautiful energy. So some higher level of learning being applied here. Something about this situation is helping to develop you in your knowledge. Okay. We also do have letting go. Allow the wisdom to remain, but the sting I shall never feel again. So interesting. So two cards talking about wisdom, one of which talking about how we need to let go of the past, take the lessons that we learned, but move forward from the past. So for some of you, um, I feel like the past is sort of holding you back, however that resonates for your situation. And I'm wondering if this Four of Cups is sort of showing up here as a blockage to the change that you're wanting in your life. Um, because maybe you are still hung up on something looking like you're familiar with it looking. And so when this divine opportunity comes in, if you're not able to let go of the past, you might actually miss it is what I feel. Um, Four of Cups can also talk about like when we've just been through a lot and our heart is kind of shut down. You know, so I think for some of you guys, especially if this has to do with your love life, um, really anything though, you know, if you've been hurt in the past, it may have caused you to sort of close up your heart a little bit and say no to opportunities that come your way out of like the fear of being hurt or things like that. And so there is still some release of that because you're never going to move forward with your new start if you're holding on to protecting yourself over the past. You know, um, actually, I want to do this one next and then we'll move into the coffee cup and then your charm. So let's continue for pile two. What else do they need to know about this upcoming change or surprise? The thing, too, is like, regardless of this new beginning, like, whatever category of your life it falls into, like, you've learned a lot already coming into this new beginning. And so you can take those lessons that you've learned and really apply them as you move forward and test out new things because it's like you need to trust yourself that you're not going to get hurt. You're going to be able to navigate the situation because you have the wisdom. And we're working on the courage now. All right, pile two. What else should they know? I'm starting to get a little anxious as well. So I think there's definitely something that you guys, something about this change is causing you to feel a little bit anxious. And I think that's why the strength card is coming up here because something about this is really going to require you to muster up courage to step into something different that you're not used to, okay? So let's see. We have eyes on the prize. Trust the guidance of your North Star. Look at this, the star. So it's like whatever you guys are getting, this new change that's coming in for you, it's very much like about what your North Star is. What's your ultimate goal? What are your hopes and dreams? If it's about love life, right? What are the, what are the criteria that are guiding you forward as you navigate romantic connections? You know, if it's about a creative project, if it's about work, you know, what is your ultimate goal? And how are you allowing that North Star to guide you forward as you make choices and decisions? I feel like that's what this is about. Let's see. We also have say yes to your higher calling. Be a human exclamation mark. Yeah, so it's like it's time to let go of the things that are no longer exciting for you. You know what I mean? Look, we have stand up and be recognized. Behold, you are the inspiration you've been looking for. There is spotlight recognition energy coming through here. And I think that for some of you guys, maybe even though this is something you're wanting, I'm wondering if sometimes like ego is getting in the way potentially, fear of what other people think is getting in the way, like, but either way, like you, you're being guided during this change to say yes to go in the direction that your North Star is guiding you. Um, 
Go in the direction that feels exciting and that feels aligned and release, you know, whatever is holding you back, whatever other people are holding you back, opinions that are holding you back. Because right now with the Four of Cups, there's something that you're apathetic about in your life that needs to be released. It's holding you back. All right. Let's get a few of these coffee cup oracles and then we're going to get into your charms. So let's see. What else for pile two? What are the surprises and changes? Okay, so we have a few things popping up. So we have a lion again, strength and success. I love it. So definitely something where you all are going to be highly successful here. You are on the road to success and it is going to require courage. We have the groom, husband and marriage. So this could also be about meeting um, you know, a romantic partner, a long-term romantic partner. And I don't know why, for some of you guys, I mean, I've been feeling pretty strongly, like for whatever reason, this is about love for some of you. I can also see this being about like a creative project as well. Um, work. I could see it for a lot of things, but it makes sense that the groom came out, I guess we'll say to say. What else is this surprise or change about for pile two? We also have the rabbit, pregnancy and fears. Oh my goodness, yeah. I mean, pregnancy could literally be pregnancy. Like someone, you know, I don't really do readings on medical stuff, but that could be a thing for some of you. It's kind of interesting that it's also coming up with the groom, right? And maybe for some of you guys, if this is a specific scenario where you're like getting married, having a baby, something like that, I think it's natural for there to be fears around stepping into this experience. Um, Pregnancy, though, can also be symbolic for something else. It can also talk about the incubation or creation of something new, giving birth to something new metaphorically in your life. And I do think that there can be fears sometimes associated around these new beginnings. Like I was picking up on that anxious energy a little bit earlier, you know? Rabbits are definitely very anxious, kind of fearful animal at times. So this is really cool, Pile 2. It looks like you have some exciting new energies coming your way. I'm going to sweep these cards off the camera and then we're going to pull up the charms. So give me one sec. Hey, pile two. So we're back with your charms. So we're just going to take a few of these and just kind of sprinkle them on this little, little board here. This is from Mystic Moon Oracles, if you guys are curious. Um, she has a really awesome YouTube channel and we're not going to take that because it didn't really land anywhere. Um, she has a really awesome YouTube channel and she makes some really cool decks. So let's see what we have here coming up for you guys. What is this? Okay. So I don't know the, the meanings of all the charms yet. So let me just see. It looks like for careers, it's like a little seahorse. I think it is. So let's take a look. So the seahorse is popping up on your career section. This is talking about past lives. So something, yes, remember? Okay. There is something here about letting go, right? So for some of you, there's like some sort of lesson that you've learned about your career in particular um, that maybe was like a more karmic lesson in nature. And so this change that's coming through for you for some is about letting go of past stuff around your career because there's something new and better that you're aspiring to. I think this is a squid. Let's see, it's either a squid or an octopus, but I don't know. So squid, okay, squid is talking about threats. And then we also have the letter H coming up here. So health, I don't really do, I don't wanna do like health predictions. I don't wanna like freak anyone out with that, but essentially like um, you can think of health as whatever resonates with you, physical, mental, spiritual health. It's kind of what I was saying to pile one as well. The letter H could have to do with somebody's initials. Um, I also think of the squid as being like, this is a creature that lives like really in deep waters in the ocean. And it's it's also a creature that like is very um, like aggressive in nature from what I've seen on TV. Like they can be pretty scary. You know what I mean? So this could also be talking about confronting something from like a more root cause perspective as it pertains to physical, mental, spiritual health. We do have the clothespin here. So securing and holding down. Yes. So there are there is like spiritual knowledge being unlocked through this change for some of you guys that I think is is tied to you moving into your life purpose. And so it's interesting that the key showed up here between challenges and life purpose. The key is sort of when we think of like unlocking the door to something, 
right? And so whatever challenge you've been going through, I feel like it is helping you to unlock the door toward moving into your life purpose and securing into that energy. You know what I mean? So this is really exciting for you, pile number two. Um, we're going to go ahead and close out the reading there, but I would love to hear from you in the comments. Like what aspects do you feel are resonating with your current situation? So drop me a comment down below and let me know. If you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so that you will be notified when I upload the next reading. And I'll see you there. Bye. Pile two. Before I, I forgot, something just dawned on me as I was putting away your charms when we were talking about this. It's not a coincidence, in my opinion, that the heart is right here because you guys have the Four of Cups, which is sometimes talking about your heart that's being closed off. And you have the squid right here, right? Which was talking about like going deep. So I, I wonder for some of you if this is not necessarily like I don't want anyone to freak out about health in my readings. I'm not reading on health here, like physical health and being doom and gloom in that way. But I think for some of you guys, this health card might actually be talking about going deeper within your heart space and healing, getting to the root cause of why maybe you've been closed off to certain things, whether it's around love, relationships, work, whatever the case is, feeling apathetic around career, whatever your situation is, that's what I kind of feel this is talking about. So just wanted to leave you with that and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hey, pile three, if you guys picked out this honey calcite, this is going to be your reading and we are going to be looking into upcoming changes and surprises in store for you. I'm going to be starting off with some tarot oracle cards. We're going to shuffle some decks on camera too, and then we're going to close out your reading with these really fun charms. So make sure you guys stay tuned till the end for that. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So starting off for pile three, we have the justice card. We have the devil. And we have the High Priestess with the Full Moon in Sagittarius. All right. Okay. What I feel for you guys is that there's a situation here that you have maybe committed yourself to on a pretty like contractual level. Now, this could be literally you've signed a contract to do something, you have moved into a work agreement, a, a marriage. There's some like really um, serious level of commitment that you guys have committed yourselves to, something that's binding, something that's on paper here. And I feel like whatever this is that you guys have been committed to or will be potentially upcoming committed to is something that is making you feel kind of tied down. Something like where maybe you feel like you have to pay your dues to something, where you owe something to this thing. Um, before you can t like technically be free of it in a sense. And um, this may not even be like in the physical for some of you. This could also be like a spiritual contract as well. You know, justice can sometimes talk about karma, like karmic lessons, you know, something that we agreed to experience before we came into this lifetime on earth, right? So this could be something along those lines for those of you who believe in that as well. But yeah, there's certainly something here that I see with the devil that you guys have sort of signed up for, whether spiritually or physically in this lifetime. And um, it, I think that there's this sense of frustration of feeling tied down with the situation. It's interesting, though, because like even though the devil card can be like kind of scary looking and it certainly is very fiery in this particular deck, I'm almost feeling like the energy of the person in this card is very defiant in a way. Like <laughs> she's like trying to get out of her chains, but she doesn't look scared. She just looks like kind of like annoyed, like get me out of here, you know? And um, with the high priestess card coming up, I feel like what's happening for you guys is something to do with um, like your way out of this is sort of through tapping into your your intuition, tapping into your higher self, tapping into your spiritual spiritual compass if that makes sense. Um these two cards feel very tightly bound together for me. Whereas this feels like something external to the situation. So like for for some of you, I'm almost wondering if like this is a situation coming up for you where you've got this commitment that you're kind of bound to, but then you have this energy happening on the side of like, you know, 
learning about something new, um, tapping into your gifts. Like this is very psychic energy right here. Maybe some of you guys are psychic or you're working with spirituality, tarot, um, law of attraction, things like that. But it's like this thing over here, you're like tied down to that at the same time, if that makes sense. It's like some sort of two things going on at once for some. But with the full moon in Sagittarius here, what's really uh, empowering about this is that full moons do typically indicate a closing of a cycle, right? So this could be a situation where you have to kind of just pay pay the devil it's due in a sense. That's the quote. But like finish out whatever this situation is that you're kind of tied to right now um, in order to close out the chapter, in order to close out this energy. And the full moon would be about closing out a, a cycle. The, looking at the bigger picture is also a really important message here because sometimes we get ourselves into situations like this when we're not fully like paying attention or you know, I also see this as being like maybe you guys have been too like wrapped up in the details of something. And because you've been so bogged down in the details and the minutia of the situation, it's like you're kind of stuck, you know. So there is a need here to sort of zoom the lens out a little bit, look at the situation from a higher perspective and like ask yourself, what are the lessons I'm learning from it? What are the insights I've learned from this situation? What is my intuition telling me to do around navigating the situation, right? Like there is a really empowering message here with the full moon and Sag of like looking at this from a bigger, more spiritual or like just from a higher perspective and being able to find the silver lining in it, even if you feel kind of stuck in whatever way. Um, I also think for some, the full moon and Sag could be talking about like more tangible things like traveling, wanting to travel or take a trip. Um, exploring different things as well. So let's see. Let's continue with pile three. Tell us more about the upcoming challenges or changes headed their way. I didn't mean to say challenges. <laughs> upcoming changes or surprises coming their way for pile three. Maybe I said challenges because this is a little challenging for some of you guys. We have healing coming up. We also have energy. Something else I want to touch on with the devil card is that the devil card can also talk about our own addictions and obsessions around things. You know what I mean? For some of you, maybe there's an obsession here with like knowing what direction to go or, you know, an obsession with um, tarot readings about the situation or wanting to know the future of the situation. Like something like that, I feel, could be coming up for some of you guys. We also have best possible decision. This says Artemis, goddess of the bow, help me see what must be known. Yeah, it's like you guys are tapping into psychic insights to try to figure out like where you want to go, how to get out of this situation, or what you want to do with regard to the situation. Candle flame, burn this hour, bring to me your healing power. Alight my fire, divine energy fill me, make me shine. Definitely feel like something about this upcoming change or surprise is something that's going to be pushing you to do go a little bit deeper and really unpack whatever this devil energy is for you, okay? Is it something you've been overindulging in? Is it something that you've overcommitted yourself to? Is it something that you're obsessing over? Is it something that is, is posing to be like an addiction in your life in some way? Is it something that you're attached to in an unhealthy way, right? There's something about this upcoming change in your life that's going to be pushing you to get those deeper insights into why you've been dedicating so much of your energy and your light to something like this. And I think it's ultimately going to help you, once you're able to kind of zoom the lens out, look at the bigger picture, it's ultimately going to help you to move forward on your healing journey. So let's continue here for pile three. What else should they know about this upcoming change or surprise coming into their life?
Discover your superpower. Access 100% of your mojo. You know, something about the devil card that's also really important to remember is that we have control in this situation, even though it may not feel like we do, right? You always have the power to remove yourself from a situation that's toxic, right? Sometimes it's hard to see what that is, and that could be why you guys are tapping into some higher insights. But if even if you look at this card here, yeah, she's got chains all around her, but they wouldn't be that hard to break out of. You know, she could literally wiggle out of these. You know what I mean? So it's about something about this situation is testing your confidence. It's testing your sense of empowerment, um, your solar plexus, like your confidence to show up and be authentic and move in authentic ways. Um, and to know your power, your power here with the high priestess. Oops, sorry, guys. You guys know, I feel like if you just tap into your intuition, you know how to, how you want to move and what you should do. Let's see. We have celebrate the sacred gap. Give thanks for buffer time. Okay. <laughs> That's actually kind of a cool message. At the bottom of the deck, we have the magic zone, the exhilaration of discombobulation. So it's like maybe this upcoming change is going to feel like it's like there something isn't quite going where you're wanting it to go. Okay, like there's something here about like taking a timeout or maybe separating yourself out of this situation that might feel uncomfortable. Um but it's like all about, again, the way that you're looking at it, looking at the bigger picture, right? Even if this isn't going your way 100%, there's actually something to be celebrated about this time that you're waiting, this buffer time, as the, gar the card is talking about. Um, let's see. Oh, my gosh. What is the next surprise or change coming up for pile three? Let's get some of these coffee cup oracles, and then we're going to move into your charms. <sighs> we have a bride, wife, and engagement. Interesting. Are some of you guys like getting engaged? Are you feeling unsure about it? Are you guys feeling like relationships tie you down? Some of you guys might be meeting your, your spouse. We have change and purity, the gazelle. So there's a need to purify and heal, which we've seen. Let's see. We have the shark survival power. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely feels like whatever is coming up for pile three, that there's pros and cons to the situation. You know what I mean? This is power is coming up again, and power is coming up here and with energy. So there's something about you sort of – being in this situation and learning and discovering your almost like survival instincts, tapping into your power and realizing that power through this situation, realizing that you're not as stuck as you feel you might be, that there are other avenues that you can take, but there's a need to kind of get out of the weeds and really zoom out and look at the big picture here so you can see it more objectively and clearly. So what's next for you guys feels like purification in a sense, like figuring out how to how to make a change in your life, feeling up, figuring out how to purify a situation in your life. So let's clear these cards off camera really quick, and then we're going to pull up your charms. Hold on a second. All right, pile three. We're using this little charm kit from Mystic Moon Oracles that I recently got. So we're just going to pull some charms and just kind of see what comes up for you and any of the ones that fell off we're not going to take so let me just put these put these away really quickly all right so we do have some things coming up under challenges we've got this under career we've got this i feel like this one's going here in the finances section so let's take a look forgive me you guys i don't have all of them memorized i'm using my little cheat sheet here 
So with career, you guys have this little diamond coming up here. So the diamond is talking about commitments, I want to say. Um, let me just double check. Promises. OK, <laughs> interesting. This could be what that devil energy is with the justice card. Like something that you guys have committed yourselves to or promised yourselves to. Um, and you guys also did have the wife card come up as well, right? So that's kind of an interesting synchronicity. This could have to do with an engagement for some, meeting your wife at work, meeting your spouse at work. I don't know. But it's interesting this is coming up with career. There's some sort of commitment, promise made for, with career. Going over here to finances, you guys have the playing cards, which talks about fate and destiny. So it's maybe something about this commitment that you guys have made is sort of tied to, it's it's like, yeah, it's like tied to your finances in a very destined kind of spiritual way, in a sense. I didn't show you guys this, but when I was using your co uh, pulling your coffee cup oracles, you all also had the coins at the bottom which talks about money. So that's interesting that there's something faded around this commitment or promise with career and finances. You guys also do have challenges here. So we've got the bells, which I think talk about news. Yep. And then we have the key, which talks about kind of unlocking spiritual knowledge. So there's some sort of news that you guys are getting that I think might, around this career finances situation, that I think might feel challenging in the moment. I wouldn't be surprised for some of you if there's like, there's been a lot of like, as I'm posting this, a lot of layoffs that have been happening. I'm not saying you're going to get laid off, but there's been a lot of layoffs that have been happening. I almost wonder if some of you guys might be impacted by that, not necessarily by job loss, but by like maybe having to take on the burdens of more work. Like there's just something about news that is posing a challenge to you. And I think the key is popping up here because as you're moving through this energy, it's helping you to become more wise. It's helping you to unlock more spiritual knowledge. It's helping you to recognize your power within this situation more than you realize. We also have the clothespin here that's popping up here with endings. And I think the clothespin, it does talk about um, security, I want to say. Let me just double check. Yeah, securing and holding down. So there's there's something coming to an end, I feel, with regard to your security here. This feels like very career-centric for a lot of you guys. Um, and it's interesting, too, because you have this card about ce celebrating the sacred gap. So maybe for some of you, this is like time off from your work that you weren't really anticipating. But there's, there's something to be said for... Um, like there's there's just a need I feel to find the time like the the silver lining for having this buffer time as the card says if you guys are in a space where you're not going to be working for a little bit um so really interesting pile three I feel like we're going to go ahead and close out your messages here so I would love to hear from you guys um in the comments, like what aspects you feel resonate with your situation. So drop me a comment down below and let me know. If you're not already, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so that you will be updated whenever I post the next reading. And I look forward to seeing you there. Bye.